Hi, my name is Brian Dillard, and I'd like to welcome you to White's Creek Quarry. Before we get started with the tour, let me tell you a little bit about Rogers Group. We have been in business for over 100 years, crushing rock and building roads. We operate in eight states, Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, Arkansas, and we've recently begun operations in Virginia. We have built our communities from the ground up in our business with our core values, unwavering integrity, excellence in every undertaking, and placing the highest value on people. Let's begin our tour. Hi, my name is Russ Matthews. I'm the plant manager at our White's Creek Quarry location. Tell you a little bit about White's Creek. Phase one, drilling and blasting is the first phase of our quarrying process. It begins with a blaster laying out a shot. The shots are laid out in a specific pattern so that the correct amount of explosive force is in a hole which creates safe blasts and helps to reduce the vibration. Once the shots are laid out, a subcontract drilling company is called in to drill the shot. The drilling generally takes two days to drill the 50 or so five and a half inch diameter holes. The holes are loaded with explosives and then are hooked together with electronic blasting caps. The electronic blasting caps allow us to control the timing of the shot so that each individual hole goes off milliseconds apart from each other, which greatly reduces the vibration and improves the digability of the shot. Phase two, loading and hauling. Loading and hauling the material from the muck pile to the primary crushing station is completed using two 60-ton haul trucks. These haul trucks are loaded with either a CAT 988F front end pit loader or with a Volvo 460 Traco. These haul trucks haul the material 1,500 foot to the primary crusher. Phase three, crushing and screening. Crushing and screening is broken down into several different processes. We begin with primary crushing using a 42 by 48 jaw crusher. Once the trucks dump into the primary crushing hopper, the rock is pre-screened with a grizzly feeder and only material larger than five inches is sent into the primary crusher. A jaw crusher works much like your jaw and breaks the rock from a three to four foot size down to an eight to 12 inch. From there, all the material is conveyed up and out of the pit into a surge pile. The surge pile allows the primary to run at a peak efficiency independent of what the rest of the processing plant is doing and acts as an area to store rock for future processing. Once the material is in the surge pile, it is then ready for secondary processing. The material is removed from the surge pile via a series of conveyors. The first piece of equipment that the surge material sees is a scalping screen. The scalping screen is a vibrating piece of equipment that separates the rock into different sizes. Anything larger than three inches then is then sent directly into a five and a half cone crusher. The crusher takes rock from three to 12 inches and turns it into three inch and smaller rock. From there, the material goes to an APA 20 triple deck sizing screen. This machine separates the rock into different sizes. Anything bigger than a one inch goes into the tertiary crusher and anything smaller goes on down to the processing line to the wash plant. All of the material that is in between one inch and quarter inch is sent to our wash screen where the fines are washed from the rock and the material is separated by size into final products. Phase four of our operation is customer loading and ticketing. Customers are directed by signs to the appropriate piles and loading of material is done by a Volvo 220 front end loader. Generally, three scoops of material will fill up the 23 ton loads that are required by our customers. Once loaded, the customer goes across the set of truck scales and receives a printed ticket. Rogers Group works with a number of contractors to help our customers get the materials that are needed on time to do the job to the job sites. 
A continuous and everyday phase of our quarry is our focus on safety of our employees and visitors. We strive to take every step available to prevent even the smallest injury. We have recently celebrated 10 years without an injury. We use wet suppression in the processing plant to control dust. All of the water that we use is rainwater that is collected and stored in our pit. All of the water that we use for washing rock, suppression dust, and the wheel wash is directed back into our pit to be used again. Hello, I'm Michael Holt. I'm the account manager here at the White's Creek Quarry with Rogers Group. I'm here to explain the different products that we have at this particular location. Our largest selling product is number 57 stone, also known as three quarter. It's used primarily in concrete. Another big seller here is our Crusher Run, which is used primarily for road base. And then we have a number seven stone, also known as half inch, which is used for our asphalt plants, uh, usually in surface mix. We also have a variety of riprap um, that's used for uh, erosion control, as well as number one stones, also used in erosion control. Uh, you can see that we have a variety of these products here at this location. Thanks for joining us today on our tour of White's Creek Quarry. If you have any questions, please ask any of our staff or go to the office at the quarry or visit us at our website, rogersgroupinc.com. Thanks and have a great day.